And I want to talk, talk to you about Jenna. Jenna um, actually it was at a later stage in life. So Jenna was kind of a, a virtually retirement stage herself, okay? And she had a lump of money um, and she rented a house. She actually rented her own home, but she had a lump of money. And she could take that lump of money and buy a house for cash to go and live in herself but she wouldn't be able to stay living in the area that she lived in where her kids and her grandkids were. She'd have to move out of area because she couldn't afford to buy a house for cash where she was. So she was going to have to take this lump sum that she'd got and move away from her family and loved ones as she's looking to retire and, and looking to need a bit more of their support and to be around them more. She's going to have to move away from them to be able to afford a property. But Jenna also was concerned about leaving a legacy. She wanted to look after her kids and her grandkids. She was like, I've got this lump and this is my opportunity to leave a legacy. Because wouldn't we all love to leave a legacy? So Jenna, Jenna's got this money and she's considering what to do with it. And she meets us and we start speaking to her. And we look at the scenario. One of my expert team looks at that scenario. And they say, do you know what? What you could do, Jenna, is this. We could take that lump of money. We could invest it into eight buy to lets that's enough deposits to get you eight buy to let properties over the next 12 months then when you retire here's what we can do we can take the rental profits from four of those properties let's say and the rental profits from four of those properties will pay for you to rent in the area you would like to stay living in to rent a great property where you'd like to stay living and on top of that have some spare money to do some funky stuff as well You've got your retirement income that's coming anyway, but instead of sinking the money into another house, do this. Four of your properties will feed you, give you the, the ability to live where you want to live for the rest of your life. So obviously that was more expensive and have a great time. So now she's got that 1,200 quid a month, 1,000 to 1,200 coming from those four properties in terms of cash flow. The other four houses, you take the profits from those and we reinvest them and we build that legacy. And Jenna now has gone from a position where she probably would have just bought a house for cash, used up her money to buy that one house for cash, and that would have been it. No savings left, no legacy, nothing else to leave. No extra income coming from it. Now she's in a position where she gets to live close to her kids and her grandkids. She's in a position where she's able to throw off some spare money to enjoy with her kids and her grandkids. And... She can build not just a little legacy, a phenomenal legacy.